Culture Cookie Adventure Chat. My name is Floyd. Cameraman today is Felix, my friend. Uh, today I'll be doing uh, chow mein. I'm going to show you guys how to do chow mein. But before we get into the video, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell button, please. And with that said, guys, I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm using today to do the chow mein. So, these are the ingredients, these are the vegetables, ingredients are over here. Normally we use like five ingredients whenever I'm doing my, uh, my cooking and um, a protein as well. And we do a curveball, but this is what I have in the house today, so I'm just going to cook what I have in the house. So I'm guessing today wouldn't be any curveball. But without any further ado, I'm going to start with my vegetables. So this here is a piece of uh, ginger I had in the fridge, so I'm just going to... Yes guys, um... The goal is to finish this dish in 20 minutes. Sometimes I go a little bit over 20 minutes, but hey, not a professional, but you know. Even trying to get this right, I can't. That tells you I'm not a professional, but I'm my own cook. My ginger. Let me get a little tiny and let's see. Alright. Ginger next, I would use uh, some garlic. left over from something else that I did. Some bok choy, and these I think are Chinese bok choy. Some people know about this, some don't, I guess. So I'm not gonna use all of this and some of this. So So what I'm gonna do is take off the head part of it. Since I got all of my vegetable here set up. Now what I'm gonna do, so I have some scallion as well. So 
now I'm going to go to the protein, which is beef. So this beef, it's like kind of chunky, a little bit too big, so I'm just going to make it oh, a little smaller. Yeah. And I'm gonna start with some oil. Have some vegetable oil. It's better if you have like um, you know, like sesame oil or those other oil. People use different oils, so I'm using this vegetable oil. This is what I have. So, All right. So, turn the stove on. I'm gonna add some vegetable oil. Maybe, yeah, about that. I don't have like a measuring cup. I just average stuff when I'm doing it. So I'm gonna let this get really high. Tell me. So, there's a flag here. This flag should tell you where I'm from. I was born right here. Here. <laughs> so it's like two sets. So I'm just gonna use like one set because this is like a whole lot. So I'm actually gonna wait for this water to get just some bubbles. Then I'm gonna add this me. So I'm gonna leave this over here for now. And I'm gonna stir this. While this is still in low fire, I'm gonna get my sauce going. So, move this over a little bit. All right, people, you know, you could choose how to do your stuff however way you wanna do it. I know I'm probably doing some things wrong, but hey, in the end, everything is gonna marriage and, you know, come together. So, this here is uh, my beef stock, and I have some uh, soy sauce, and this is some uh, corn starch. So I'm gonna add uh, grab this with. A whole lot of chunk, so maybe that amount. That amount would be fine. So I'm gonna get a spoon. So I'm gonna boil this for about uh, between eight and nine minutes, and this should be cooked. So it's gonna start a boil in a second. Yeah, so while that is boiling, I'm gonna add some boar to that. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So I'm doing it in stage because I don't want some of the things to cook well cook and some don't. So I'm gonna add that boar or string beans. So this cook cook medium. I'm gonna 
turn this up now. So my beef is cooked to medium, a little bit over medium. If I put the beef in first, which you should put the beef in first, but then I don't want it to be like well done. So I'm gonna let this fry a little on high fire now. Some people add the meat first. I didn't, but it will all be a marriage. So the last thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the bok choy because, um, you know, these bok choy, if you add it before, then everything become like all kinda, you know, soft and saggy. You know, I'm actually gonna garnish with this. I could put a little bit right now into like and subscribe to the channel this is my first of the videos i'm trying to do a video at least every week and please share these videos with your friends and family because i need those subscribers and uh you guys can put in the comment section stuff that you guys would like me to do try you know um like i said i'm just a home cook but i don't mind if you put stuff there and i would you know try to do something different, you know, um, yeah, so. It's looking beautiful and it's gonna taste amazing, trust me. So my chow mein is almost there. is almost there so what I'll do I'll get a, um, a ladle so I'm going to pour the chowmin into this then I'll pour it into that pot so take this out of here So my chow mein is about done. I'm going to go fire now. Can you see that? Come close so they can see that. See that? Okay, so my chow mein now is all done. So what I'll do, I'll turn this off. Add that there like that. So that water that is running on the chow mein, it takes away, uh, you know, some of the starch. I guess everyone don't do this, but this is good for people who are like diabetic and stuff, like, you know, um, just get rid of some of the excess starch out of the chow mein. So, now what I'll do now, I'm gonna add the chow mein over to the pot with the pak choy. The pak choy is going to still be cooking on low fire. So now I'm going to add the pak choy to this low fire now. I'm going to add this pak choy. This pak choy. You don't need it to cook all Guys, if there's any other way you guys could make it, just let me know. Maybe I could try it your way. But this is my way. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way, but hey, like I said, not a chef. My own cook. I'll tell you what, I'll be a chef soon though. Constantly doing it. <laughs> so let me get a, um, one of those. Uh, Nice. 
my version of chow mein, which is from Guyana, country I was born. So, this is enough. I'll turn this off. And now, I'm gonna use the scallion to my version of Kainz. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe and like I said earlier, please share your thoughts and comment, whatever you want me to uh, cook, um, you know, throw a bunch of stuff there, whatever combination and I will try to make something um, beautiful like this. So, 